first of all, I'm really greatly honored, and uh, I very much appreciate American Enterprise Institute for inviting us uh, for sharing thoughts today. Uh, of course, it is daunting task. I mean, first of all, daunting task to be the person talking to Chinese, but even today with such eminent uh, panelists. Uh, uh, but anyway, it becomes my job easier because I think I will just limit my uh, remarks to my present task. Uh, but at the same time, I'm very happy that uh, uh, you know you uh, you know chose a very appropriate topic for the discussion. Uh, uh, you know, while it is not intention of His Holiness uh, nor the Tibetan leadership to make the issue of Tibet into a sovereignty issue, uh, we have uh, told the Chinese very clearly His Holiness took a very difficult. But nevertheless, he took a very clear decision years back to seek for a solution for Tibet uh, if the Chinese allow us to do that you know, within the uh, framework of People's Republic of China. Having said that, I have always felt that uh, you know, people must, uh, first of all, understand the uh, geopolitical importance of Tibet. Uh, it is not just a human rights issue. Yes, there is a gross... Uh, uh, violation of human rights that need to be addressed, that need to be you know, uh, uh, looked into. But that is just a symptom of a far bigger problem. That is the policy of the Chinese government, uh, which I think in the last, in fact, two years, you see there has been much more visible how serious this is. So therefore, I'm very glad that you know, uh, you know, the other you know, panelists you know, will, and, and as Mike has already done it, and I'm sure you know, others will, the geopolitical importance of Tibet. In the last 50 years, we have, I think, also achieved uh, you know, f three very important, uh, important things that we feel really proud of. One, in spite of being uh, confronted with one of the most ruthless, most powerful uh, you know, nation on this earth, uh, we have managed to keep the issue of Tibet alive. I remember 15, 20 years back, very close friends, both here and Europe and America, those who really passionately cared, they used to say that, well, we feel sorry, but you should really concentrate on trying to build schools, maybe rehabilitate yourself, you know, you know, kind of, you know, without, you know, being very blunt, you know, that Tibet issue is finished. Uh, 50 years later, today, Tibet issue is not at all finished. In fact, as Mike has mentioned, it is one of the most uh, daunting challenge being faced by one of the most ruthless and most powerful nations, China, today. The other important thing is the Tibetan identity. I mean, the whole core of the Dalai Lama's struggle is to maintain this unique, distinctive Tibetan identity, which has been almost totally destroyed inside Tibet. That we have been able to preserve. Today, we are not just a museum piece. We have been able to preserve that distinctive identity of Tibet, it is a thriving, it is a very much alive, uh, you know, uh, an exile, no doubt. Uh, but it has also made its way into the West, I think, in a way we have made some contribution to the richness of this human society. That, I think, is something that we can look back. And, and then, then finally, the most important is, in fact, Dalai Lama became a free person, ironically, on the 31st of March, when he crossed over to India as a refugee. Since that day on, he was, for the first time, able to implement what he really wanted to do, but as a refugee in a foreign soil. So today, we have a fully functioning democratic system that we have established, which you know, some of you, you know, Mike was there. And so therefore, when we eventually go back, you know, I tell my Tibetan friends, we don't go back empty-handed. We go back to our people inside Tibet with a precious gift, the gift of democracy. Maybe even this gift can enrich, you know, China itself. So I think, you know, looking back, you know, these are the three most important things, you know, which I think will have a tremendous also bearing to the future of, of, of our achievement. 